Today in this video, we will learn about the pair of linear equations in two variables. Yesterday was Rahul's birthday. And today, he is calculating the total money he had spent. But he is confused. Rahul had bought some balloons and ice creams from the shop yesterday for a total of 165 rupees. But now he doesn't remember how many balloons and ice cream he had bought yesterday. But he remembers that a balloon was for 3 rupees and an ice cream was for 12 rupees. And the total number of balloons and ice cream was 19. We can solve such situations with the help of linear equations in two variables which will give us number of ice creams and balloons bought by Rahul. Let's see how. Let x be the number of balloons that Rahul bought and y be the number of ice creams he bought. And Rahul also knows that the total number of both items is 19. With this information, we can form the first equation which will be x plus y equals 19, which can also be written as x plus y minus 19 is equal to 0. Now let's see, if Rahul has spent 3 rupees on a balloon, then x balloons will cost 3 times x, that is 3x rupees. And similarly, Rahul has spent 12 rupees on an ice cream's then y ice cream will cost 12 times y, that is 12 y rupees. And the total spent on these two is rupees 165, that is 3x plus 12 y, which is equal to 165. When we put both the equations together, it gives us the information on expenditure made by Rahul. These two linear equations are in two variables, x and y. Such equations are called a pair of linear equations in two variables. We know that in two variables, x and y, a into x plus b into y plus c is equal to 0. Hence, the pair of linear equation in the two variables, x and y, can be represented in a comprehensive way. So, if we look at these two equations, these include a1 is equal to 1, b1, 1 and c1 minus 19 and a2 is equal to 3, b2, 12 and c2 minus 165. In this video, we studied a pair of linear equations in two variables. In the next video, we will see some examples based on this.